sneak attack. It's me, Melissa, and this is another free voice lesson with Melissa. What, what, what is this? What is that hair? But I am gonna jump right in because we are going to do a new breaking down the voice, which I haven't done in a while. But to be honest, now I'm not well set up here, guys. I apologize. I was very inspired by this performance I saw at the VMAs because it was so freaking badass. Do you know who I'm about to talk about? Yeah. Lizzo. That's who we're about to talk about. And I'm very excited about it. I was not a fan in the sense that I just didn't know her. I didn't know her work really. I knew a song or two. I knew that she was like playing the flute and doing some cool stuff, but I didn't know much. Okay. Then I saw this video on Facebook and I literally went, oh man, talk about fire in live vocals, right? This woman is on fire. Now what I mean by that is she has fantastic energy and she understands that her energy is driving that voice and driving the tone and driving the assertiveness and the delivery. But then when she sings, she's just so strong and that's what I really wanted to talk about today, how strength and talking and really using your voice in a really honest way can just be an incredibly powerful thing. And these are live vocals. Okay, there's not a bunch of people on stage musician wise helping her. It's her. It's her. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's talk about Lizzo. I just took the DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch. Even when I'm crying crazy, yeah, I got boy problems. That's the human in me. Bling, bling, Talking. So. Is she doing everything exactly like on the recorded version? No. Woo. She is so clean in her phrasing. The thing about this, there's a real tempo. She's not over singing that, right? She's just moving and she's talking and it goes up and it comes down and she just speaks and there's so much. She's just so tough. And what I love about her body, and this is what we're going to talk about moving on. She's so centered in her strength of her body, right? She's staying on those feet, right? She's strong on her feet, even when she's dancing and moving. Downward, yes, girl. Woo, shit. Now we got some booties in action. There's such a clean delivery every time she comes in. Bon, 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 bon. It's like she's, she creates, now what is that? What is that tension she's using? How is she creating that? We use our vocal cords in a bunch of different ways. We can be very clean and centered when we connect our cords. We can also create tension. So if a rock singer is growling, for example, or doing some sort of gritty thing with their cords, it's not always completely coming from a place of detrimental push and tension. Sometimes it's about creating breath that's moving while creating resistance. And then you create a dynamic tension. I love the band Vintage Trouble. And when Ty sings, he does a lot of that cool, very old school rock and roll stuff where he'll wow and that sort of thing. Yes, there's wow. It's like a grit in the back of the throat. Sure, that's tension. Sure. But is anybody saying that we never use it? God, no. Guys, we use tension, especially rock singers and pop singers. We do. There is tension involved. And to say that that's never allowed or never usable in a way that you can recover from is just not true. You just have to know what your chords need. Now, back to Lizzo, what I love about her is when she does that, I don't believe in, in any sort of way, oh, I'm gonna make this super tense. No, she's just talking, right? And then she'll add this energy and it's really, it's sort of like when I talk to actors, it's more coming from a, a performance, a dynamic performance, right? And a dynamic, assertive person talking to an audience and saying things and wanting, what I always tell my students is we want people to feel things and 
connect with what we're saying, right? So when Lizzo turns around, she's like, and she's doing all those dance. She is empowered. She is strong. She wants every woman in the audience to feel this strength. And that's what I think is happening here. It's such a commanding performance. She's not worried about her voice. She is not worried about her voice. She is just going. Let's keep going. I'm really obsessed with this. She's so girl power. Her diction is great. Yes, Lord, time to get some new shit. Do you hear how she's using her words? Yes, diction. You can hear her breathing, getting that breath in. We don't want to gasp. Is it good to try to avoid hearing that breath? Sure. If we're getting technical, sure. Now, she's really, I love that. She really spreads those notes. Now, that's a very pop thing. If I was going to say, out the door, oh, oh, a relaxed O, oh, door, she's kind of spreading the vowel. That's what I call that. Door, spreading it. So it ends up a little wider sounding. There's a little bit more of a horizontal sound because she's moving the shape. Out the door. Do you get what I'm saying? Do. Very downward energy over the top of those notes. And she's not screaming, baby, how we feeling? Right? Did she go, baby, how we? No. <laughs> Calm yourself. She went, baby, how we feeling? And she said it. And she used her diction and she used her breath. Whew, it's coming from an athletic place with Lizzo. She's so tough and strong and over the center of her body. Woo, take a sip. Oh my gosh. Do you know, see that? It's so hard. It's so hard. She literally went over, over the top. She's not like, it's so hard. Whiny. No. Mm -mm. So over the top. So centered. So strong. It's all coming from her core and her center. She's really, really a strong woman on stage. I can't tell you as a teacher how often I talk about that. It is so often. It is this understanding that that is what makes some musicians and some performers stars. They're just not afraid to move and they're not afraid to use their voice in a really clean and assertive way. I do not mean clean in a technical way. It's not what I'm talking about. I don't mean like, oh, it's so clean and perfect. I mean, her performance is really clean. Her performance is so strong and so polished. And I think easy for her in the sense, not easy in the sense that she's not working hard, but she is clearly connected to what is happening on stage. It's not contrived and forced for her. Does it make sense when I say easy? Meaning it's not forced. Meaning she really, really understands her energy and she has something to say. She's literally getting on stage and going, I'm tired of the bullshit. And she's saying it so assertively and there's no doubt and there's no question. That is, in a lot of ways, what makes a star a star. Lizzo is an absolute star right now. And she has a platform and she's speaking and I believe that's what makes musicians and performers great. Yeah, have a great voice, that's part of it. But have something to say, that's the bigger part of it. And that's why I wanted to talk about her because I loved that performance so much, she's so cool. Let's go to the ending for a second just to see what else she does. Look at these notes. That energy and that, that, uh, little bit of grit. Yeah, yeah, it's more ah, in the back of the throat. It's not so much like a down here, super intense in the chords sort of constriction. It's, it's more coming from using the H and she's good as hell, hell, ah. It's like a back of the throat thing, right? That's not my prettiest performance. I'm not Lizzo though. <laughs> I'm not that gritty guys, but she's really talking. It's all I can tell you. She is really talking and she really understands. How we feel it? Good as hell, good as 
as hell. It's like she's just saying it. It's not, she's not holding every note. Every note is not held and sung and oversung. It's not what she's doing. So it's a really cool performance. I'm really inspired by that energy. I just think she's super rad and she's a very, she's a very, a very clear in the heart and soul sort of performer and I just think that's really cool and I think there's a lot of women out there that are very inspired by her right now so anyway if you don't know this entire performance please go watch it Lizzo at the VMAs super cool that is a boss of the stage she's a boss and guys you want to be a star and you want to be a singer and you want to be somebody who uses your voice professionally you've got to really be clear about how it works and how it moves and how to keep it healthy and how to use it to your advantage and use what you have, your God-given gifts, to your advantage. Because our voices are all different, you know? You know that's a huge thing. If we don't realize that it's really hard to figure out how to work in the business and actually be a performer, right? You gotta know what your voice does the best. You gotta know how to use your voice to its strengths every single day and also what your limitations are and how to use your energy to the best of your ability to, to fuel your performance. Because as I've said in many other lessons, the voice comes from the gut. It really does. Your voice and how you use it and how you express yourself is a very organic thing in each person. We have to really tap into what is organic about our voice in order to use it the best. So if we're trying to imitate other people and be other people, that doesn't work as well for us. We have to really figure out how our voice individually functions strong and, and what we have to give as a singer. And that's what I love about watching someone like her. She's not trying to be anybody else. Not trying to be anybody else. She's a queen just like Beyonce is a queen. You know what I mean? It's so cool. Anyway, go watch the full thing. I think I will start doing some more vocalizing-y sort of things. Again, guys, I can't give a private voice lesson on these live videos. It's much easier for me to pick a topic and actually discuss this, the voice the way that I would in a lesson with a student, so that's what I do here. But I would love to start doing some more vocalizing sort of things at some point, so we'll talk about that, maybe throw in some warm-ups. I'll find a couple random warm-ups off of YouTube. Not even stuff that I would necessarily give, but show any of you out there who are just at home and don't have a private voice teacher, how can I just warm up and start doing some things by myself? And we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll start talking about more things. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.